from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. If you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is Animals. This is segment one of episode 50. In our last episode, we learned to use the comparative and superlative forms of adjectives by comparing the three species of, of bears that are native to North America. We also learned about the kinds of traps used to capture animals. In some circumstances, bears can cause concern for the safety of people, and they can be a nuisance in some places. Nevertheless, there are places where bears are celebrated and honored, and one such place is Grants Pass, Oregon. Here's a quick look at the bears of Grants Pass. Even at the entrance of town, Bears welcome visitors to Grants Pass. This pair is engaged at a favorite activity in the area, enjoying the splendid Oregon outdoors. Local artists are limited only by their imaginations. That makes for some very creative renditions, which can be seen on the main streets and other parts of Grants Pass and Josephine County. People can buy a bear with the funds going to community causes. Some local businesses buy a bear that reflects the nature of their business, like this cafe well known for its pies. Here's one that reflects a bear's relationship to the salmon and steelhead that have their runs on the Rogue River. Then there's the whimsical, the bears dancing with each other. This bear promotes the bears. It's located outside the visitor center. This Yota-esque bear promotes a local drive through coffee hut. This is one of my favorite bears. It's a pairing of bears, and to say it's artistic is an understatement. Artwork of a bear doing art. I wasn't the only one taking pictures of the bears on the day that I took these pictures. So here's the bear artist and here's the bear being painted. Very creative. This bear goes well with the words on the awning. It's definitely a celebration of the good life in Southern Oregon. While people usually wait until the grapes are made into wine, this Bruin is eating his right off the vine. There's connections to literature and matching color schemes. Even Egyptian history and symbols are seen here. These pharaoh bears greet visitors on a corner. Their sides and rumps are painted up like an ancient Egyptian temple or a palace. Now here's a bear painted up with Crater Lake, Oregon's only national park. Each year, the newly made bears are paraded through the streets during the Boatnik Festival. Then they're put on display at a park along the Rogue River. Their celebration of the library and being on top of the world with graduation from school. One celebrates fall while another celebrates the active life as with the skateboard. These bears are a permanent fixture along here, as well as some other animal sculptures. This pair is located at a restaurant just a few feet down from the new bears. 
It's a good fit for the Tap Rock restaurant, as they seem to always have salmon dishes, as well as other regional fare that's enjoyed with a great view of the Rogue River. All this bear business was started by a man named Brady Adams. He was the president of Evergreen Bank. These are examples of bears located at each bank, and this one at the main bank in Grants Pass. Adams came up with and promoted this idea about having local artists create bear sculptures to create excitement in this small city and as a way to raise money to support community causes. Brady Adams is no longer with us, but the bears are very much present in Grants Pass. Bears at play and bears at work. Bears in storybooks and bears playing on the river. So, if someone from Grants Pass invites you to join them for a bear hunt, don't grab your rifle, grab your camera.